Hey, it's Mike Whitfield with Workout Finishers, and this ab finisher is for Rick Cassell's The Croatian Sensation, and of course, all of his loyal readers as well. So what we're gonna do is I wanna show you an ab finisher that has a very low impact. So in other words, we're gonna get the heart rate up, but without a lot of uh, unnecessary impact on the joints and things like that. Now at the same time, we're also gonna improve our core strength, okay? Obviously, you already know this, but when you have core strength, you're gonna prevent low back pain and things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this circuit twice. We're gonna rest for one minute in between circuits. Now for a finisher, a minute is quite a bit of rest, but let me explain why. Because what we're gonna do is you start off the circuit with jumping jacks, all right? So you're gonna do jumping jacks. You're actually gonna do this for a full minute. And I want you to go at a fast pace. I want you to really crank out as many jumping jacks as you can in one minute. And of course, it's a great low impact exercise. So really crank them out. Make sure you get those hands all the way above the head. And so you're gonna do that for a minute. Then we're gonna go into what I call the push-up cross-body mountain climber combo. It's easier to show it to you than it is to explain it, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna assume the push-up position, okay? Now you're gonna perform a push-up and then do a cross-body. Push-up, cross-body, okay? And you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. So it's jumping jacks for a minute, and then a push-up cross-body mountain climber combo for 30 seconds. And that's gonna work your core a lot harder than a standard push-up, so that's why I added in that cross-body mountain climber. So again, the purpose of an ab finisher is to improve your conditioning, because that's gonna, of course, accelerate fat loss, but at the same time, get your abs stronger, okay? So a minute of jumping jacks, 30 seconds, of the push-up cross-body mountain climber, and then we're gonna go back to the jumping jacks again for a full minute. Okay, nice fast tempo, all right? And then finally, we're gonna end the circuit with hand walkouts. Let me explain. Push-up position, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk your hands out and then back. Take about two steps forward with your hands and then two steps back. And make sure that you keep your hips low, you're not starting to pike them up, okay? You wanna maintain nice braced abs. Of course, keep those hips low. And again, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So let me explain that again. It's jumping jacks for a minute, then the push-up cross-body mountain climber combo for 30 seconds, and then back to the jumping jacks for a minute again, and then finally we're gonna end the circuit with the hand walkouts for 30 seconds. And then finally, you get to rest for a minute and then repeat that one more time. So it's just a great way to tag it on at the end of your workout. It only takes a few minutes, doesn't take a whole lot of your time. A lot more effective than hopping on the treadmill for 40 or 45 minutes. You don't have to spend a lot of time in the gym. And of course, this is the bodyweight version, so you can you know, do this at home. So hope you enjoy that, give that a shot, and I'll talk to you soon.